Man, where do I start with this one? Because I have some stuff to say. And you all wanted to hear it. I started love from the last video. Anyways, was it just me or some of your closest friends made during lunchtime? Because that was the time to talk, mess around, and not deal with any schoolwork. <laughs> You were actually happy. What's your favorite subject, Jorge? Lunch? So many things would happen during these 30 minutes. During middle school, I would sit with my buddies Juan, Alexis, Harold, and several others at the school cafeteria. And we would talk about the dumbest things. Bro, do you brush your teeth before or after eating breakfast? Wait, before? That's the first thing I do in the morning. But you ruin your breakfast with all that minty breath. Don't tell me you brush your teeth after. Yeah, we would start some dumb arguments. Our specialty, though, was yo mama jokes. Man, yo mama so fat, I ran out of guest tried to drive around her well your mama's so ugly she's the reason why your dad left <laughs> you're right too far on a lighter note i would throw off my friends with certain magic tricks that i knew back then as well the most popular one was this quarter trick that i knew i already shared it before but let me show you it again all right guys welcome back to orchata magic where you guys see this quarter i'm gonna make it move from one hand to the other here we go three two one oof you guys saw that? One more time, one more time, one more time. Three, two, one. Oh, let's do it really fast. Do it really fast. Three, two, one. Oh, dang it. One more time, one more time, one more time. Ignore that, ignore that. Three, two, one. All right, back to the story time. Bro, how did you do that? I know how he did it. It's not that hard. Someone always had to say something. And is it really a cafeteria story time without talking about the food? Because there was such a big spectrum on the food reviews. There are mainly three different kinds of people when they came to school food. The first were the ones who absolutely hated it. Wouldn't touch it, wouldn't eat it. They would bring their own food. Ugh, that bread tastes like cardboard. Picky eaters, am I right? The second were the ones who didn't mind it. They would eat it and not complain. Eh, free food. And the third were the ones who loved it. They loved it a little too much though, cause they would devour the food. Hey, you gonna eat that chicken patty? My guy, I know the food isn't horrible, but you're different. Yeah, the American public school system really gave us chocolate milk and burgers to eat at 11 in the morning. <laughs> Let me know if your school did or does the same thing. Every Friday, however, the school would give us pizza. It was a tradition. And my buddies would bring Takis, hot fries, really any chip that was spicy. But at the same time, we would never admit that they were spicy. Bro, these hot fries aren't even spicy to me. <gasps> Yeah, man, they're not hot. <laughs> I know one of you guys is like that, manning up and saying they're not spicy. Whatever, you're cool. We would then wash it down with strawberry milk. Man, the stuff we would put in our bodies. <laughs> Anyways, before we continue the story, I wanted to announce that I created a brand new channel, Orchata Clips. Yeah, I've been streaming a lot on Twitch, and I decided to make a channel where I can post the stream highlights. You know, the best parts, story times, gaming, commentary, reactions, all the good stuff, even talking to you guys. So subscribe, you don't want to miss it. I'm going to put my heart and soul into this new channel. Anyways, back to the crazy stuff that would happen. This one time, me and my buddies were chilling in the cafeteria like any normal afternoon. We're out of nowhere, one of the school staff ladies just rushes to our table. How can you guys do something like that? I need your name so I can write you guys up. Wait, what? Look at Aaron. He's crying and he pointed at you guys. And none of us ever seen that kid in our lives. And on my mom, we didn't do anything because we didn't even know he existed. We were so confused and it took so long for the staff lady to believe us. Well, I'm gonna keep an eye on you guys. Let's go, Aaron. Um, what was that? What just happened? I remember turning red from embarrassment because it just felt like a fever dream. Also, would it really be a school lunch time without somebody making a beat and freestyling at the lunch table. All right, so let's go do your thing. Mm. <sighs> That's it? I lose That's tempo. all he did. That's I lose all tempo. he got. You lose tempo from what? Oh, the pressure of the camera? Hey. Hey. Lunch was lit. Lunch was crazy, nah, my bro. Middle school, every kid, every single kid in that freaking lunchroom, there were 200 kids in there. No music. <laughs> and the vice principal could not do anything about it. <laughs> could freaking... not do anything about it. <laughs> I got him telling story times they now. They would just be smacking on the table, bro. <laughs> oh my god. That's so funny. Yeah, we had nothing better to do. Because there'd always be that one kid rapping over the beat. And homie would show off. Ooh, we're gonna get out the hood with this one. Teachers would get so mad since we would be so loud. Everybody say such and then we keep it going. Eggs, bacon, grits. Everybody, man, have your attention, please. Please, my buddy Victor, he's single. Again, we were so immature, but there was only one thing that would get more attention than us, and that was the cafeteria fights. They wouldn't be too frequent, but when they occurred, it felt like we were watching a pay-per-view boxing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, in this corner, standing at three foot ten, we have Jamal. Hey, let's go, 
Come on, Jamal, let's go! And in this corner, standing at three foot nine from homeroom 208, we have Marcus. Man, why you gotta talk to my girl? I mean, is she really your girl if she's talking to me? Ooh. Fight, 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 fight. Alrighty, guys, let's get ready to rumble! And this one fight in particular, my guy Jamal threw a milk carton on Marcus and it spilled all over him. Ooh, it's getting messy! Me and my boys will be standing on our lunch table trying to get a better view. And shout out to the cameraman as well. Because they act like they're recording the fight, but in reality, their phone is aiming at the floor. And the staff arrives so late to break it up because by the time they arrive the lunch bell rings and we have to run back to class everybody run ah i can't be late i can't be late yeah we would just leave the crime scene <laughs> ah those are some good times cling 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 yes sir again subscribe to the brand new channel my downstairs neighbors are probably really pissed right now because you can hear that i'm pretty sure